Hey, what's up guys, and it's that time again. Huawei versus US. You guys already know the whole situation of Huawei being on the US entity list, which is why they were forced to use the AOSP version of Android without Google services, which by the way, can be installed pretty easily, but no one would risk that much money for a phone with no Google services, like collectively saying, at least in the international markets. And Huawei knows this, which is why the Mate 30 is currently only in China for now, where their sales are going insane. According to Huawei, they already have sold a million units of the Mate 30 family. That is a big number indeed considering they just announced their phone. Their Mate 30 Pro recently scored the highest on the DxO mark chart. So it's all going pretty good for Huawei despite the whole situation with the US, but this might not last forever because as per latest news, Huawei's latest 90 day license will expire in November and from the looks of it, they might get a permanent ban. According to Bloomberg, the assistant secretary for cyber policy said that temporary license don't last very long. And the reason why they were given to Huawei in the first place was to prevent immediate market disruption. So once this expires, Huawei could get banned for real. According to Robert Strayer, recently President Trump has said that he will not give business to Huawei in the US. Trump administration is considering punishing allies who allow the use of Huawei's 5G equipment. So seeing all this, the ban could take its final shape. And when that happens, unlike the 90 days, there will be no security updates or anything whatsoever from Google and also whatever businesses Huawei is doing with US companies could potentially stop especially the Google situation which is why using the open source version of Android in the future might not be a good choice which is why Huawei could be forced to use their own Harmony OS. Huawei already is escaping. They already built their 5G base station without US component. The CEO recently said that they have started working on 6G network, which will be around 100 times faster than 5G. I mean, this company is strong. They are not stopping. Further sources have revealed that the Kirin 1000 chip will be one of the first chips to come with 5 nanometer architecture. Next year, both Samsung and Apple are expected to do the same. So Huawei is on board as well. This will make the next Mate 40 Pro the first phone with Korean 1000 based on Aram's latest A77 architecture. And speaking of Aram, they recently did an internal review and found out that they are actually exempt from the US ban. Their recent development is taking outside of US, which is UK, so they can actually support business with Huawei. According to EE Times, both Huawei and Aram had meeting recently to reaffirm their long-term business. So as far as the chips are concerned, Huawei is good to go. But software is where it's all about. The last call is is here guys we'll definitely gonna see some official response from Huawei pretty soon in the coming weeks I hope by some miracle things go back to normal but right now it's not looking good Huawei might still release their Mate 30 devices without Google Play services in Europe and in other potential markets but without pre-installed Google services a lot of people might hesitate to spend their money on their flagship phones, which by the way, are not cheap by any means. They still cost a lot. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you think about the whole situation. What do you think Huawei should do if the ban really does happen in the end? I would love to hear your thoughts. And uh, yeah, that's all the latest news on the Huawei situation. Drop a comment. And again, giveaway for the iPhone 11 Pro is live on the channel. If you guys wanna enter, please be sure to check the link in the description. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. One. Peace out.